guys all right guys welcome 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 make sure my volume is up to the rousal world caricature art stream guys so glad to have you in the house i'm sorry i took so long to get here but i had to i had to feed the little one i had to feed the other little one and then i had to let me see i don't know i had to do some dishes i, I got all kinds of stuff i had going on so uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys time. You might have needed time to prepare to get your pens and pencils out and stuff so that you can practice with me. Uh, if it's your first time here, my name is Harry. Welcome to the stream. I'm so glad that you can come out today and draw along with me. Uh, the purpose of the stream is to uh, encourage other artists to get out there and do something with their artwork, right? Um, this is also a time of where I practice, so this is my practice time. But what I decided to do was instead of practicing in a room by myself, I decided, hey, why not share my thoughts and ideas uh, with others and that we can collaborate and make other ideas, uh, make our drawings uh, better. We can discover some different things. So today I'm going to be kind of talking about or going through some association type techniques. So what that means is that I'm going to play a lot of this looks like that or this looks like that or this looks like that. And then we're going to use that to help us draw a caricature. Um, so that's pretty simple. Uh, doing the stream, if you guys wish uh, to donate, guys, man, thank you so much in advance. Also, we are trying to raise money for our new graphics card for our computer. You guys will see that I put a message up here. I didn't actually pin that one up there, but I guess I I guess I could go ahead and pin it here. And then um, if you guys want to donate to that, man, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much in advance. Other than that, tips are just appreciated in general if you feel like you're benefiting from the stream. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump right into it uh, today. I, I need to warm up. I haven't drawn anything yet this morning, so let's see what I'm going to start off with. Hold on, let me open my my little pad up here. And then we'll get started. Okay. All right. Let me see. Okay, so I got a request here as well from uh, Jeremiah McGowan. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. He asked, can you draw me? Oh, okay, awesome. I do. I can draw you, Jeremiah. Let me let me warm up my hand first, and then, uh, do you have the picture that? Did you send a picture already, or anything like that? Let me make sure. Let me see where you sent the picture to, so I will be able to do that for you. Uh, let me see Instagram. Let's look at Insta, 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 Instagram. Uh, all right, Instagram. Mm -hmm. All right, hold on one second. Let me see here. Let's go to messages here. Uh, okay and did you did you send a picture uh jeremiah you said you wanted me to draw your picture for you so i'm gonna need to send a i'm gonna need you to send a picture Okay. All right, all right. So I'm waiting for Jeremiah's. Um, I got. I think I went to his um, his YouTube. His uh, he got his page right here. So I got a picture of him right here. Is this? Is this? Uh, hold on a second. Let me. 
All right, I think I got a good picture of him right here. Yeah, hey, look at that. Look like you're holding a baby right there. All right, let me see here. Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, I think I got a picture right here. All right, I think this is Jeremiah right here. I just went to your Instagram page. Is this the, is this the picture? Is this a good picture of you to draw right here? Do you like that picture? I don't even know. Is he here right now, Jeremiah? Are you here? You have to send it. You have to type something in here so I'll know that you're here, because I, I wanted you to uh, be able to witness it. But I'll just hold on to it, and then whenever you decide, whenever you type your message, I already got the payment for it. I just want to make sure that you're here so that you can see it. Okay. All right. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a face here. Let's go to my gallery. Mm. Excuse me. <clears throat> I guess I'll go to quick share. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> Man, got a little tickle in my throat. I can't get it out. All right, here we go, guys. So I'm going to start with this picture here first. See what I can come up with. All right. So for my association here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a, a, a little, I always start these shapes with a little bit of a bullet like this. So we're just going to draw that. Let me get my hand warmed up again, guys, before we start. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now we're going to go up here. And we're going to draw a shape that does like this. And then a shape that goes like this. And I always make my hair into... I, <clears throat> I think of hair like, like fire flames. You know when you're doing a flame... It looks like a like a fire going that way. That's kind of what it looks like to me. And I don't know if you guys ever watched, uh, if you ever watched uh, Mario Brothers. I love that movie, right? And uh, that's how I think of head shapes too, like the little like the little bullets that they have on Mario. If you look, that's kind of what it looks like. This little bullet shape right here. Okay, and I'll do something like this. Another little flame over here. And then a little earring shape here. And another earring shape over here. <clears throat> another little flame here. You got plenty of flames, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, let me see here. Then I'll just bring this little shape over here like so. All right. Let me see. Okay, and now I'm going to <clears throat> think I'm going to go ahead and do my basic expression. So she's pretty happy. So I'll use a happy expression, something like, uh, I don't know. Let me see what looks happy here to me. Something like this. <clears throat> this is the one I want to use right here, this one. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to put a nose shape in here. It looks kind of like a rose shape. And then I'm going to do my mouth shape here. Okay. So I drew the bottom of the mouth first and then I'll come across the top with a shape like kind of like 
like this. See? And then I'll put this shape down here like that. All right. That gives my mouth a little bit more uh, life. I know before when I would draw my mouth, I would start with the top line, but I found that drawing that bottom line first and making that the deeper line first or the base of the smile first uh, helps out a little bit more there. Okay, then I'll just do my mouth, my shape here. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do our glasses. Now with glasses, what I do before we do the eyes and stuff, I think of I think of glasses kind of like two these particular glasses. I think of them like almost like cups. If you think of a cup around the, uh, around the eye like this, look two little cups. Watch, see the cups right there, and then without the tops on them, and then you just add a top to the cup, right? And then you put a little joiner in there. See that? So that looks real cool. Then you can put like little pegs on the side of your cup. Maybe like little cup handles, like short cup handles. And then <clears throat> because her eyes are looking at the camera, what I'll do is I'll do a simple shape like this. I'll do something like, uh, I'm gonna do something like this and make them center them on that line and then put my eyeballs in there like that. Okay? So that's a real easy way to do it. All right, now, let me see here. Let's go ahead and add the side of the eyes here a little bit, right? And then we'll add this line over the top. And then we'll add some eyelashes. All right. All right, then we'll just double up on the eyebrows. So from here, I can just do like this and just double it up. Okay, it looks a little different than the picture, but it still feels like her face, right? It just looks like a really happy her, right? Okay, and then come over here and we'll add our little shirt, right? Something like that. <clears throat> All right, and that looks great, that looks great. I think we did that really quickly, right? All right, and then we can add some eyelashes underneath here and I think that's all really we need to do there okay I can add a little bit of, of shadow or color or whatever I had some crayons here got one of these little these little twisty crayons these seem pretty cool to, to use to do stuff with let me actually let me kind of sharpen it a little bit maybe I can use this sharpener if I rotate it out a little bit further. <clears throat> All right, hold on one sec, guys. Hmm, okay. How about that? Ingenuity at its best. So I can sharpen the edge of it, the end of it with a little sharpener. Hmm, okay. Dust my hand off there. Okay. All right, let me see here. <laughs> All right, right on self help through nature. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. So what I did was I just sharpened the end of my little my little rollout crayon. So that's a, something you can do if you use these. These are really good. Uh, okay, hold on. Let me let me. As soon as I'm done with this, guys, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get to that. Hold on. Let me see what I, you said. You sent me a request to cash up too. So let me look. Uh. Let's go to Cash App here. I got two requests right now I saw. I had one from, um,
All right, hold on a second. Now, what did you say, game and record? You said you sent a request on Cash App? I didn't see that. I think you did it the wrong way. Apparently, you sent me. You, I think you sent me a who have gaming with Jay and Corey. I think you sent me a thing requesting money, not paying money out to it. So it says like a pay button on there, not like you didn't do it the right way. I think. Okay, I know who this. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, you did it the wrong way. You pressed a you pressed a request and not a not a not a payout. So when you correct it, then I I can do that for you. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick little coloring job here. So what I like to do is just color the the border and make my contours of the face first. Okay. Hmm. I like to use crayons when I color the face in because they have like that gradient. Sometimes they, I these are great for drawing live. You know, they're quick and they're inexpensive. All you gotta do is get you like a little peach color like this one here, cause it's a universal color you can use for a lot of different skin tones. Right, like that. And then you can come back once you, once you, once you do all this, you can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. And there you go. All right, and then we'll just press a little bit lighter. And we'll take the, the white out just a little bit, but not so light that we overcome what we already put in there. And then what I like to do sometimes is I'll just combine medians together. So I got like a box of... Uh, I got like a the this is a honey color so I can I can use that and combine this like marker with it right I think her eyes are like brown so we can do something like that right right something like this all right that's kind of how I use it with the gray okay put a little shadow here <laughs> Okay. All right, and then pretty much you just do your hair in. And uh, with this one, I'll just do a simple hair pattern. Like this. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay. And then once we do that one, we can come back with maybe a brown or dark brown or whatever color this is. What is this? This is a mahogany. Looks like it'll work. Let me see. Oh, awesome. Yes. Okay. So I'll add some quick darks in here next to the head to make my head st shape stand out. You know what I'm saying? A little bit better, right? We can even add one of these in here occasionally in these lines here. Right. Yeah, you put requests. The request means that you're requesting money. <laughs> when you sit, when you hit that button, it means requesting money. One says pay money, and then one says request money. So if you send a, we have to press send the money, not request it. I think you just pressed the wrong button. Cause it had a when I went to it, it asked me to press a pay button, like if I was gonna pay you money. Okay, let me see here. And then we need some pink here. Oh, we got some red for the lips. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put this pink down first. This is a deep medium pink. This is a Crayola too, by the way, guys. Oh. Right, and we can even add a little touch of this around the drawing itself, and then it'll really make our drawing kind of pop. You know what I mean? It'll make those colors really, really pop out of there, right? Yeah, awesome. Okay, and uh, I think, man, that that that's pretty. That's that's all I need to do to that one. I don't really feel like I need to do anything else to that. That looks like her, right? <laughs> All right, let me, uh, yeah, no problem there, Jay. No problem, man. I'll just let you know. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I like that one. That's nice. Nice. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put some reflections in the glasses like that, All right? And then uh, I was going to sign my work, right? All right, and today is what? That's 217.24. Okay. Cool beans, cool beans. Okay. All right, so I am nice and warmed up now. We got, I guess we can go to our next drone. We're just going to practice a, a couple of different types of faces, and then we're going to just play with this idea of emotion, a reason that, um, and associations. Um, when I think of faces, uh, I think of a shape that I already understand how to draw and then it makes it easier. So you'll, you'll, if you ever watch it in my videos, you'll see, I do, this looks like a bullet. This looks like a thermometer. This looks like a or something, right? And so that's what I'm doing today. I'm, again, I'm just practicing what things look like. And then uh, feel free to qu ask questions or whatever while we're here. And tips are appreciated, guys. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you in advance. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our next picture, right? Doo -doo. Who do we got here? Okay. Now, this is one that I did with my student the other day, but I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redraw this picture right here. And this also, this, this particular association that I'm going to show you works very good for people with round faces, okay? Um, the shape that I like to use is, well, here. Let's put this aside. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right, let's put that here. And she has round face and she has curly hair. So this is what we're going to do. If you've ever played the game of Mario before, right? Mario has this dude in the game that looks kind of like this. Okay, you yeah, remember that guy, right? <laughs> I've seen the Mario movie so many times that 
this guy just pops out of my head all the time because my son always laughs at that when he's doing something, okay? Well, if you think about this shape here, right? If I took this shape and I took it and I and I, I'm gonna make it with some, I'm gonna put some, because he's he's flying, so I'm gonna put some smoke on the on it, right? And I'm gonna put some smoke all around it. Right? Like this. Okay? Cause he's he's flying that way, right? You can see him going this way. He's because he's he's headed over here to the question box. <laughs> all right. He's gonna hit that box right there. And who knows what's going to come out of that box. He's going to destroy the Princess Peach Castle. Right? Alright. But instead he decides to make a detour. Okay? And the detour is he's going to go down. He's going to he's gonna go this way. And um, or he can go down here and he can hit this button down here. This is a button. Okay? You ever seen it? You know, we're going to make it into a button. Right, you know how you can press a button. So if we press that button, right there, that's the button. Right, he's gonna go down this way. So what we're gonna do is, he, since he took a detour, he's gonna go down here to this button, and now he's here. And and I'll tell you what happened since he's here now. Okay, his smoke followed him down there. Okay. Okay. And then he went over here and he had smoke on the outside, right? All of his smoke just followed him all the way around while he's trying to press this button right down here, right? And then, <laughs> um, as you can see, this button now and this smoke turn like this pressing the button made our head shake does that make sense to you <laughs> his name is bullet bill that's right this is bullet bill so if you use a bullet bill you can draw any round head shape and we're going to play with this just for a little bit in the drawing right so now that we have that we're going to go over here to our emojis okay so we got to give bullet bill you know a reason to cheer up so we're gonna go find us a cheery face right and we can use uh let's see we can use uh we'll use we'll use uh this one here again we'll use the universal cheer up face that we just used to draw this face right remember we used that to draw this face so watch this so watch we're gonna do it. I know what this picture says, but I don't care. I don't, and I'm not looking at all the angles and all that. I'm looking at what I want the expression of her face. Her face feels happy to me, so I'm gonna draw happiness, right? So I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna go one, two, right? Then I'm gonna go three, four, and then I'm gonna put her nose shape here, like this. And then I'm going to put a smile shape like this. Okay. So it's a basic smile, right? Now, once I have my basic smile, right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start doing some real work here. Okay. So watch this. Just humor me for a minute. Okay, we got some lips. Okay, put a little shape right there. That's a rose petal nose. And then for the eyes, eyeglasses on this one, we're gonna draw teardrops because Bullet Bill is crying. And since Bullet Bill has some tears, his tears fell down here, but they fell in a crazy angle. So they look like this. And now you have two little you have two big tears surrounding her eyes with a, with a little thing in the middle. You see? So we just did the glasses. <laughs> All right. 
And uh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, Jason. Welcome to the stream, man. And uh, any requests, guys, man, thank you so much, man. Tips, tips are appreciated. I don't have any problem doing a request for you guys, man. All right. And thank you again for coming out. Just let me know. All right. Let me see here. All the requests and stuff are here at the bottom, too. So when you do a request, you can just follow the directions at the bottom of the screen. All right. Now, because now we have a, a, a raw picture, what is she doing? She's looking at the camera. No problem. So I'm going to make her look right at the camera here. Okay. And once I have her looking at the camera and I double up the eyebrows. Okay. Well, now all I have to do is start filling in everything. So watch how I work from that how I work from a very basic expression and then I build onto it to draw caricature. So this way my drawings don't lack emotion when I when I finish the final product. If you start by trying to draw things too specifically, you're going to wind up with a very flat drawing that's not going to look like the person. You see? So that's a really cool cartoon. She'll laugh at that. She'll be like, that looks like me, right? Okay, you see? And then we can just put some more curls in here if we want, right? Or some worms. We'll put some worms in the smoke. Put some worms in the smoke, right? Worm your way out of this here. All right? You see that? Isn't that cool? Okay. And then uh, let me see here. We can add a little curve, a little C curve here, maybe give her some more cheeks or whatever and just kind of color in the eyebrows okay and maybe we can add another little curl here a little worm coming out here a little worm coming out here all right all right there we have it right so we just did a quick little cartoon of her right quickly over here by using our bullet little uh shape Okay, and then we can just draw some circles in here and color around it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And then we can just add a little chin shape right here. Like that. Just to give her a little bit more of a chin. But I think that one came out cool. Okay. All right. Let me see here. So let's go to our next picture. Okay. I just want to try somebody else here. I sometimes I'll go to this other website. Where where is it? Oh, and I, you know I actually have those shapes right here. These are the shapes I'm using right here. Right, bullet. This one, that one, this one. Okay. So let's find another face here. Maybe I could just pull my faces up. Uh, what's the name of that website I was on? It was uh. Okay, so we have Earth's World. Let's see what kind of pictures we can find here. Hmm. <laughs> All right, that's a cool, that's a cool face right there. Let's see, can we make that bigger? Let me see. Do 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 all right let's just keep it right there for a minute all right so let's draw her face real quick hey thanks jason i appreciate you i'm more i draw more comic style but yeah, I started out with that. I did a, I, I've done some, um, you know, like the comic book style stuff before. 
Uh, and he, he, you'd be surprised that he, a lot of the, the things that you, you apply to a caricature are uh, are very, uh, <laughs> thanks, Jason, um, are very uh, applicable to, to whatever type of drawing that you do. You know, I, the great thing about uh, any type of art, obviously, is it allows you to express things in, in the way that you see, the, you know, to interpret the world the way you see it. But... Uh, the other thing is, is that it's just, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a way you, it, it's, it's free. I think caricatures is more, you can bend the rules so much, you know what I mean? You see like, remember, but you, you, you bend them within a structure. So when I make up, a, when I make up that shape, like that bullet shape, it helps me to, to create things on a whole nother level. Like I can. Let's say I want to draw this face here, right? I'm not thinking this. Watch the shape that I just, I'm telling you that bullet shape. Watch how I look for it. And then I, and the cheeks and everything are just interruption shapes. So let me give you, what does that mean when I say interruption? All right, look, if let's say I got this bullet shape right here. And then I put the top of the head here. And then I come down here, okay? Well, her cheeks here interrupt this shape but the bullet is behind the shape so you see how it gives your 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 character more your the face more depth so when i'm drawing my lines i'm doing like this and saying okay i'm just simply interrupting my shape for a sec and then i'm flowing back into it and then i'm going here and then i'm interrupting my shape again and then i'm going over here let's say i want to make it out wider because it needs to be a little bit wider here and then i'm going to interrupt my shape here again and then I come over here, right? And you can see how my shape just kind of just all flows together. Then you have your, you know, your 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 neck shape or whatever. And then again, my hair, I always think of like flames. So it helps me not to think so deeply about I'm drawing hair. So I'm just really drawing fire <laughs> is what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? You see how the fire is coming out of the, you know what I'm saying? So. It, it puts your mind in this flowy type of, you know, feel, you know, up here. Got a huge piece of fire coming out of here. And over here is just, it's coming all out the building, right? <laughs> and so it thinks, you th you start thinking more flowy. As far as like the, 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 the glasses and the shapes of the face and all that, I always, again, I started doing this technique, this emoji thing, because I would get lost in the face sometime trying to copy, like why do my faces lack emotion? It's because I didn't build my, just think about building a house, right? Whatever foundation you put down for the house is how it's gonna look when you put the walls on it, right? It's gonna be shaped like the foundation underneath. It's gonna take on the appearance of the foundation. Kind of like inside of us when we are, you know, as people, we have a, a we have our inner life and then we have our outer life. Our inner life is our foundation. It is the way, it is the computer by which we process information that we receive from the outside. So if I feel upset inside, right, then quite naturally things outside, no matter, I want to see them through this scope of, 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 of anger. You get what I mean? Because that's my foundation. And um, so that's how I, 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 I approach drawing not just as something to uh, do. I teach, I, I feel like it's something that I can learn to live. And so I incorporate how I think all around into my drawings. And so it keeps me from getting burnt out because drawing is a philosophy to me. It's not just doing pictures. It's, 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 it's getting up every day and understanding that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to a destination that I'll never reach. So therefore there's something to do every day. And then that gives me purpose to find what I'm trying to find for that day. You know what I mean? I think I said, I think I hope I broke that down right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, um, let me see here. Okay. Uh, so, you know, keep it simple here. We, we, we look for something that, that, that's, that says that expression. She looks happy, right? Okay. So this is what we'll do, right? She looks happy. Let's draw happiness, right? Again, I can go back and use this shape as many times as I want 
in a in a picture i can even do something like uh let me see look look at this you see this right here if i want to make her do this right in this picture all i gotta do is follow the blueprint look watch watch and just make sure i get her nose shape because that's the most important shape is the nose now watch this okay all i gotta do now is what kind of glasses she got on she got some tilted cups, right? Watch. Okay, and then the, the, top, the top of the cup does like this. Right? So I just made a picture of her based off of this. You know what I mean? So you got it, you got it, and it's simpler, it's a simple concept. If you, you know, uh, sometimes <laughs> things are so simple that it, it's, it's so simple we can't believe that it's that simple you know they say they say life you know as human beings we make our we make life more difficult than it has to be right <laughs> things are simple man signs and symbols for the conscious mind all right so we got a little happiness here right and she's happy i got the right face shape i got the generals of her shape right i don't really need to do a whole lot of of other stuff in the drawing i could you know, let's go over here and we can take this marker here. And we don't need to see the eyes in this picture, so I can just do like this. Watch. You know what I'm saying? I can come over here. I can enhance and flow like fire. You know? The body is the same way. The body works the same exact way. I don't think of the body as 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 a. Uh, I think of the body like a uh, like just like I do this. I have certain shapes that I go to. So if somebody asks me to draw a uh, you know them doing something, I'm thinking automatically. Okay, what shape do I want for what particular type of body? So if I got a guy that's that's diesel, right? I'm automatically thinking about something that looks like a. a it looks like a funnel. All of it, everything's funneling down here. And then my arms, I always think of, I don't, I think of arms and stuff. I put my extremities first. I always want to know where my extremities are going first. And then I think of the arms as arrows pointing me toward that shape. Get what I'm saying? Everything is arrows. Your legs are pointing towards something. Your feet are pointing towards something. So it makes it easier for me to break down shapes and figures. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, 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 Jason. Sometimes you put too much details in the picture and you kill the effect. You know, you, you're trying to make a cartoon. You're not trying to. And then the simplicity is what kills, right? A lot of, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. One time I was at a basketball uh, park with my friend. His name was Eric. Eric was a youngster, and one day we was playing, and um, I saw him. He was on my team, thank goodness. And so these two guys was defending him. They was double teaming him, and he did something. He was like he, he, he went behind his back and threw the legs from the back, went through him like a Kyrie Irving, and just rolled him up. I was like, I'm standing there looking at him. I says, Man, how did you do that? That was quick, man. He said, Actually, it was very slow. He says, I did it very slow. He said, the thing is, is that it looks fast because I simplified the move. I simplified the move down to a fundamental action. And then the action became simple to perform. But to the person that doesn't understand simplicity and they think with recklessness, everything has to have a lot of movement in order to get, you You you. How can I say you you confuse movement with progress? I think that's what the word I'm looking for, you know. And you can't do that in a caricature. You can't confuse movement with work. Adding more details is not going to make it look like them. Actually, adding less details is best, right? And if I want to do something funny, right, let's say I got her right here, okay? 
I want to do something funny, but I understand my basic shape, right? So let's let's say I use this marker here, okay? So look at my bullet, look at my bullet shape again. This is the interruption, but let's say I want to make her cheeks really big. Interrupter, right? And I got an interruption shape here because this is the let's say I want to really accent the cheekbones. I can never get lost because I know underneath that I'm never I'm drawing a bullet shape. It doesn't matter. And then I'm coming out from the bullet shape up here and then I'm going back into my hair shape. So now what I did, I gave her a little bit more cheekbone, right? If I wanna make her do something else, let's say I wanna make her, uh, let's say I wanna make her, uh, let's see here, let's find something here she can do that's funny, All right? Yeah, let's say we wanna make her do this, okay? All we got to do is follow the configuration of her face, right? So what's happening here? Okay. Okay. Make sure we get the nose shape right again. That's the most important shape. Okay. We still got the, we, right? And then we got, then we'll do this, right? Okay. And we'll come down here. Right? I don't know what her top shape lip look like, but I could do something like this. Right, and it kind of still look like, right? Oh, I forgot to put the the, the the tongue shape, but either way, I was supposed to make the tongue come out of the mouth, but I forgot to do that first. But you get what I mean. You can, you can, you can just about do anything, you know, with this, <laughs> you know. And then you come back and you put your little glasses. Just like that, it's easy. All right more fire All right <laughs> okay all right so let's go to our next face all right and and discover let's do some more discovery so remember today what you learned you should know or remember when you do eyeglasses, yeah, my marker is, is drying out. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I need to get rid of this one. But don't throw these away because you can do some good shading with those donut, with those markers, you know. Uh, hey, can I ask a question, guys? What do y'all think about this picture right here? I'm thinking about... I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about this picture? Who does that look like to you? Hey, right on the house, man. Awesome, 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 awesome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> I I want I did a I did a uh I did a I actually recorded this as a video so I was going to chop it up. I wasn't sure if I wanted to, I don't know. I, I was like I wonder if the likeness is there for me. You know, sometimes you get, it's good to get a, a second set of eyes there. All right. Yeah, so you think it looks like okay, that's cool. I think I'm going I think I will do something with it then. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, let's go to our next drawing here. Let's put this on the side. All right, we don't need to save it. Just discard it. Hey, all right, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna chop it up. I made a little I, I gotta you know y'all gotta go check out some of my shorts, man. And don't forget, man, to share the video when you watch it, you know, the drawing, just to share it. You know what I mean? Okay. 
that you know that goes to help out help us out man i want to be in front of the drawing board a little bit more but uh you know let's see here let's find somebody else here let's oh look at this guy this is a uh, this is a uh, this is this is Wyatt Earp <laughs> well, let's see here I had to take a picture of him real quick. All right, let's see. Like this guy right here, you can see his body shape, right? What his body shape look like? It looked like a um to me, it looked like a um like a bean shape with some arms on it, right? It took me the longest. <laughs> hey man, right on, right on. Thank you so much, man. Don't forget, man. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, man. And if you guys feel like you're benefiting today from the stream, man, tips are awesome, man. Thank you. You can do that. I already put the information up there for you. This is my full-time job, so this is what I do. Let me see here. Let me let me let me get this guy in here for you. All right. So let's say we draw on this guy. Remember, he got a round face. That bullet shape is powerful, man. So watch this. Here we go again. Watch. Watch this. Okay. Okay. Uh, no matter what, this is a shape interruption here to me. Okay, and then I'm going to go right back to my shape. Okay, once I'm in my, then I can come back out here. This is all just show, right? And then we got the, the ear shape here. Make sure it's not too big. You got some big sideburns, right? You can have fun with it when you do it this way, you know? You're having fun with it. Go in here, come in here, go up, right? Watch that. Boom. Right? You come over here, and then you come around, boom, like that. Come up here, oh, I might have got my angle wrong on that, but no, I didn't, no, I didn't. See if I can get it to, well, something like that, right? Something like that, right? All right, something like that. Well, really, to be honest with you, I could have left this open-ended and floated it, which is what I should have did. Hold up, let me back up. Let me do that again. Cause see how his his chin is not that defined. I'm actually. Let me hold up. Let me grab another marker out of here. This one looks like it's had its better days too. Okay, there we go. You see what I'm saying? So watch. I should. I'm gonna leave this open, and I'm gonna put the shape here. I'm just not going. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave this open and let it flow into the next shape without causing that circular motion. But other than that, everything else is 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 gonna pretty much stay the same. Big sideburns, right? This is big text right here. Make sure you got those ears that are small like that, right? Okay. And then we'll go like this. See that? And then we come over here and hit it like this. Get and then we'll come over here. Shoulders kind of sagging down a little right there. He got his he got his pinch stripes on. Right. He got his he got he got gobble neck. Right. <laughs> gobble gobble. And he's happy, right? Right? Isn't he happy? So let's go back here. Let's make him happy. Then let's put our foundation first. Don't try to draw the features before you put your foundation. Okay? We can give him... Look, we can do this to him. Watch. This is this is him right here. Watch this. You see that right there? Check it out. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Let's get his nose shape right, though. Okay? So uh, he has these, like... He has this little shape like this. And then this is like a, a, right? Now, what kind of glasses do we got on? He got the teardrops. 
He got the tear drops. Right? Now, watch, watch. If we do like this. And then we come over here. Let's put our, let's put our, let's do our shape, right? Let's do our shape. Okay? Watch that. Now, we just do like this. A smile, right? But then we come across the top of the smile like this. Right? See that? And then we made him we made him happy. We can now we can give him some fuzzy eyebrows if we want cuz he has fuzzy eyebrows. Okay? You see the you see the how the, the translation how it happens when you when you put that foundation first. Right? Put that foundation first. If you want to put eyes in there, you can. All you got to do is just do like this. And then do like that. Right? You build off of those shapes. Build off of the shape. Build off of the shape, right? Heh <laughs> All right, that's big text right there, all right? This is this is the little building behind him, right? This little... Okay. Okay, and then we can just do like this. Huh? <laughs> there he is. Okay, see how that works out, right? We gonna we got we got big text on the range, man. Put a range back here. We got some uh, some mountains in the background, right? Create our own background. People ask me to do scenes for them and stuff. I'll be like, "Yep, I'll just do a scene like this." Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, you want to say hello? <laughs> oh, I'll let you guys say hello to. I thought I'd tell y'all to give y'all an update on the little fella. That's my son. Say hello, man. Hello. You gotta, you gotta say. You got this is a, he a big old boy. He's huge now, but wait, there he is. Say hi. No. You wanna say hello? Huh? He's like, you hungry, man? You gonna, you gonna say hello? Yes. All right. Come on, you can say hello too. Come on, get up. Come on, sit on the lap. Get on daddy's lap. Come on. No, you. Uh, give me that. Come on, you gonna say hi? Get up here. Say hi to Cherish and them. All right, here we go. <clears throat> so these are, these are the, these are my twin, these are my, huh? these are my twin boys. Right? <laughs> uh, want to do a caricature for my kids. Any advice for doing a 14-year-old boy and a two-and-a-half-year-old boy and a one-year-old girl with face shape and expressions? Say hi, Kathleen. Say hello. Say hello, hello. Yeah, this is the guy y'all heard making all that noise over there. All right, he's hungry right now, so I'm gonna let him go ahead. Bye-bye.
Huh? Huh? Oh, you get mad at me, you get mad at daddy. Here you go. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. I just want to let y'all get an update on that. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me, uh, Jason, uh, yeah, yeah, how, a caricature of my kids and the advice for 14-year-old teenage boy. Okay, generally for young people, um, um, and I can just, uh, let me go here real quick. And let's go with, uh, I'd say, uh, I would say if I get, I could give you any advice, it would be do not add too many, again, details to the face. Keep your, your shapes fairly round. Let's look at, uh, let's look at teenage or faces. Let's see what it comes out with. Okay, so let's just get some images here. Okay, so they got all these different teenage faces, right? So let's just say we were drawing this face right here. <laughs> okay, the same concept applies. Now with her face, it's a... I have all different types of shapes that I, I refer to. So you you know, but when you when you like with her face specifically, she has a lot of like fullness around here. So when I draw her face, what I would do here is I would use the same bullet shape, right? But I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of go out from here and I'm gonna go more with a house shape. And I like to keep my 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 pin on the paper and make one continuous flowy line because with children you don't want to do a lot of line breaking like um uh like that one that we just did right like uh like this okay you see where you 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 interrupt your shape a lot with these you want to use as less shape interruption as possible when you're drawing a young person okay um so that would be something that I would, you know, I would definitely look out for. Uh, other than that, everything else is pretty much the same. All right. Fire. Fire. This one right here can be water. Think water when you draw this type of here. Water flows like water. Here, that's very uh, directional. I think fire, but this is water putting out the fire. Now she's happy. I don't have to do a lot of examining, right? I can just go over here again. Okay, and let's say this is. I go to this face a lot, not unless I just purposely want to do something like this, right? But whatever you want to say about that person's face, that's what you pick that emoji. You use that emoji to build your caricature around. So let's say I'm using um, this one again, okay? All right, so what I'll do again, watch. One, it doesn't matter what my picture looks like. You can't look right at the picture and think it's gonna tell you all the information. This is stuff you gotta know versus what you're seeing. This, is, this here, I'm gonna keep my, my nose shape small Okay, and then watch this. I'm gonna come up with my smile shape. I'm just gonna look for it. Look for it right there. So I'm feeding off of this nose shape right here to tell me, like it, my smile lines need to feed off of this shape like this. So I'm gonna go right here, watch, boom, boom. Now you're saying, well, what about the rest of her mouth? Now watch, all I gotta do is put this bird shape over the top, right? And then put the lips on the bottom. Once I do that, I got the T shape. My T shape, I always look like, I think of them as buildings. So let's say here, all I gotta do is build off of the basic shape now, watch. She's looking at the camera, no problem, I got it. I can do her eyeball in here, eyeball in here, right? And then next thing you know, I'm putting eyelashes on it, right? 
then I can just kind of do this right here. Even though the angle of it is different than in the picture, it doesn't matter because this is a universal shape for smiley. You know what I'm saying? And now from here, if I want to, you know, put some little particulars or whatever I can, right? But as least shape interruption as possible when you do the pictures with, with, uh, with uh, young people, okay? And then you just come back. Yeah, it's very subtle. You want to have uh, as least lines as possible. I add a little shadows here and there. That's just my particular style. And then I'm thinking like a, I'm thinking flow like water. Flow like water. You know what I'm saying? And so it and when you when you do it the way I'm telling you, it's going to translate very quickly. Um, but again, you you can take classes with me online. I teach this online like a class, so you can book a class with me. Uh, just go to rouseworld.com forward slash classes. I think I put that information up here again for you, but let me go ahead and paste that for you. And you can go ahead and you can take classes with me. And I can teach you. You can bring your, you can even bring the, the pictures that you want me to draw or help show you to draw. And we can use their pictures specifically and then I can draw it through with you. You get what I mean? So if you want to do it that way, just take a, just go book a class with me online and um, bring the pictures. And I, I, my classes are, I think, 40 minute sessions. So it, and all that, all the uh, particulars are explained to you online. And then you just bring the pictures and we'll, we can work through one picture at a time. Cause you know, you don't want to, I don't want to, uh, you don't want to try to do three pictures in one setting because I can't give you that much information in that amount of time. So if you have three kids, it might take you, you know, you might want to do one and add one per session until we finish the picture up online. So I, that's a common request. Um, no, no, Facebook, Face Off is not my book. Face Off is by Tom Richmond. I've, I've read uh, that book, but believe it or not, um, I learned a few things from Tom Richmond, but... Um, to be honest with you, um, his style of drawing caricature is so different than mine that um, uh, while he has some things that are applicable, a lot of things I feel were, in my personal opinion, are are um, are not applicable for me. You know what I mean? So you, when you read different books, you have to kind of still find out what works for you. That's why today's stream is association technique because. You're thinking of association. When I when I when I draw an eye shape, for instance, one of my one of my associations I came up with, <laughs> right? Do I want me to show you an association? Okay. Is uh hold on a second, let me see. I mean, I some kind of way I need. I just want to put this in here. I don't know why. Add you some colors in there. And then hit it against that pink thing. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, there we go. Oh, you know what else is missing? This. <laughs> okay, let me see here. All right, where was I going with that? About eye shapes, right? So how many did we do so far? We did this one. We did hers. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. No, before I go there, I'm gonna go to this one right here. This is going. This is this is a really cool one. So when I think of 
that when I'm doing my, my head shapes then, let's say these are three different bullets. I can change these up to represent any shape I want. I can make them short and tall, right? If I want to give you a big forehead, right? All right. If I want to put your eyes and stuff up here, I can move it around. I can give you a three quarter view. All right. Extend from the face. All of that, all of that goes when you're drawing the picture. But as far as the hair is concerned, which is what I was going to show you, I think of it. Remember, we did the Mario, we did Bullet Bill, right? From Mario Brothers, right? So remember, the bullet is bullet bill all right and he's he's flying right so but whatever he if he has curly hair at the top of the bullet i can give him curls all the way around right if they don't if they have flowy hair like uh like this then i can think water flowing off the top of the bullet right maybe maybe some um maybe he's uh uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Maybe some um, something spilling from the bullet, right? I'm just trying to think of a word for it, but something flowy like water. But if he has flowy hair, like or the very directional hair, then you want to think of fire or flames coming out of the bullet. You get what I mean? If he he don't have, you know, or maybe a force field around the bullet, right? And then you can add, you know, you know what I'm saying? See that huge forehead right there, right? So it's all about, you know, feeling out, you, you know, your, your picture and trying to figure out what you want to do and what you want to say. And uh, again, I have like <laughs> the kid in play. No, kid in play, that's a different one. The lower, that one was a big forehead. Now, kid in play would probably be, he definitely would be something with a big forehead, though. I, w I could see that. And then what I could do, now what kid in play would be, if I was drawing kid in play, I would do like this. This would be the bullet, right? Okay. This would be his forehead. And then this would be the box top. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do a box top haircut. Big forehead, box top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then you know whatever you got some glasses let's give them some glasses teardrops you know what I'm saying whatever we're a kid in play kid 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 in play right whatever right skyscraper here right <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah All right, so let me see here. I guess we can try, let's see. Since we own some youngsters over here, they got some good faces right here. Let me see. Now this guy right here, you see how he has very directional hair, right? So it's very, very directional, very flowy. Let me get some more paper out here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so since we're gonna draw youngsters now, this one right here, 
I feel like his favorite. And, and another way you can approach care, you can you don't have to start from the outside. You can start from the inside out. So if you want greater, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Ability to to mat to to manipulate the face shape. Just never forget where you're at when you're drawing. So here he got a very serious look. So what do I want? I want something that's very serious and very looking at the camera. This isn't the foundation of my picture. My nose shape is a very central thing. So I got to get this nose shape to fit exactly like I want. Now, all I'm doing is this right here. This is kind of what he might look like, kind of nonchalant, right? He's like, what? That doesn't look like him really. But what happens is you got to start building from that, that shape again, right? Watch. Okay, watch. Watch how I'm building up from the shape. Okay, so again, you can see here that I I built from my foundation of what I wanted him to fe be feeling in my drawing. And so while it didn't look like I was going in the right direction at first, it is critical to your likeness. You are what you look like. You are the expression that you wear on your face all the time. And so this is a very important thing. I'm starting to discover it late in my caricature career. I started doing, I started doing my caricatures to me were very flat. Um, yeah, well, if you do lower, if you do add lashes on, lashes on guys, you just make them point down. You don't give them the curve. Usually when, if when you give them the curve, that means that the eye, if this is the eye, right? This is blow it up. Okay, this is two, these are two eyes, one here and one here. Okay, let's say this is a female eye. Okay, you darken the top lash and then the eyelash comes down and kind of curves up. So you can see these curves are making the eyelash like that, but with guys, what you want to do is you, I, I, what I'll do is I'll bring the eyelash down like this. I'll bring it down, but I won't bring the up part to the eyelash. So you can give them eyelashes without it looking like over feminine. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. All right, what time we got? 112. What time did I start?
Okay. Well, different artists have different ways of doing noses. Again, I keep my noses very simple. Um, if I can get away with just drawing a, you know, uh, just a bottom shape, sometimes I will. Sometimes I add a little bit more detail. That's just really up to you. You know, as the artist, you have to kind of treat each picture as its own individual thing and, and just kind of go with it, you know? Yes, I stream on Saturdays and I stream on Wednesdays. Okay. All right, so I think I got time for one more drawing, guys, and then uh, I'm going to do my word of the day. So if you guys want to stick around for that, uh, you can. I just where I share a devotional with you guys before we leave and to get you, you know leave you with something positive uh, to think about for the rest of the day, you know, because if you don't give your mind somewhere to go, it, somebody will give your mind somewhere to go and um, and you don't, you know, you want to be intentional about your thoughts because mental health and all that stuff is a real thing, you know. So um, oftentimes, you know, for me, I know I wanted a pill to fix everything. I was I wanted a shortcut or some type of pill. And I didn't understand that some things you can own. You have to train your mind to think correctly. And so, um, you know, I'm a Christian artist. So I I I um. I um this is where I place my faith at and it is and I it says to, to test things and see you know whether it's good you know you want to test out things and I started testing the information that I was learning and not just testing it but in testing it I mean I was reading it and then applying it and then I started seeing consistent results uh, everything changed and my artwork was one of the things that changed dramatically my self uh, present my presentation of what how I speak what I think about what I do all day everything has changed you know what I mean um, uh, having kids at a later age uh, uh, it came just in time I gotta tell you you know what I mean because I didn't have the patience that I have now I didn't have back then when I was you know when I had my first child and you know, that was back when I was probably I think 23 years old so you know it's uh man <clears throat> so uh let me see here let's go ahead and do one more picture here guys let's see who we can pick out here maybe you guys want to do it maybe you want to see this work for uh, maybe i want to see it work for uh let me see <laughs> now he has a little bit of a determined look in his face right so if we go back to our emojis we can look at something here what does he look like well to be honest I see something like uh, like this that's what I see he looks he looks kind of pissed all right so oh wow jason awesome that's crazy <laughs> uh well yes yeah 
I get it, Jason. It's not, you know, when you, I know you said you have difficult marketing yourself. And, and, and you know, anytime you, I'm going to put it like this. Anytime, anytime you, this is the reason you got to be on point mentally. Okay. Because first of all, when I say the word people, I mean all of us. Okay. But when I, but I also want to say the untrained people, the untrained in the mind, the untrained in, in how to live and how to be truly joyful. Um, when you deal with people, you're always going to deal with their uh, inclination to self-preserve, to care for, to think about them before they think about somebody else. Okay. So when you're talking about marketing to people, right? Like when I go to different restaurants, right? I, I draw at restaurants a lot. Okay. That's my niche. Um, I'm portable. So I go I, and then I'm, I'll meet people. I'll do parties. I'll do events. And I'm out there. I literally, draw, I literally draw every day. And before I go on, I'm going to tell you, find somewhere that you can go do it. Ask whoever's in charge and then go somewhere. And I, I might, like I said, my deal is portable. So I walk, I, I literally walk a lot during the day and I'm driving from location to location. But I love what I do. Not everybody can do the niche that I've done. Some people want to sit in one spot. Some people want to gig here or there. You know, you got to find out what works for you. Um... So, uh, as far as marketing, when I, when I, when I go through the restaurant, sometimes I'll have people be rude for no reason. Sometimes, uh, I'll have, uh, uh, you know, people would, Hey man, you know, let me give you, can you give me a deal and this, right? And the thing is, is obviously I practice and I do this, but first of all, this is what I do full time, right? This is my job, right? If I told you to go to work, and you, when you went to work and when you were going to get your paycheck, your boss said, well, um, let me make a deal with you, right? I know I, I know this is what your time is worth and this is what we agreed upon, but, you know, um, let me make a deal. No, people don't think if I was on the other side of the coin, that's just the nature of dealing with people. So when you have a problem marketing yourself, you have to be mentally strong enough to understand that this is just a tendency for people that are, you know, and, I, I, and once you develop that faith, your faith will... My faith does like this. No one person is going to determine the outcome of my life. So if that person says no to a drawing, if I don't draw any drawings tonight at all, I'm still going to be okay. You know what I mean? Because I know the God that I serve, you know what I'm saying? So, and he's been taking care of me. So this is my mentality. So as long as I got that, I'm going to get up and go the next day, even though yesterday it wasn't successful, uh, so to speak, you know to uh, afford what the world deems successful is obviously having money, but success to me is building relationships with people, you know? So I've, I've met so many people just working on myself. If you, once people like you, when they like you, they'll do things for you. Just, you know, so work more on yourself. Not the drawing is going to, is good. Work on your craft, but caricature is not just drawing people. It is relating to people. You know what I mean? I meet all kinds of people i meet people tall short i meet people that are from the hood i meet people that are from yale i met i've, I've met life coaches and i've met the, uh man judges lawyers district attorneys sitting in front of me getting their picture drawn in fact here in the city that i live in i had an opportunity to draw all of the, the judges that are on the the, the 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 circuit judges right I got to draw the guy that was the head of the drug enforcement task force or something like that. He was a he was at a party, a Valentine's Day party one night. And I drew and all these big hitters was up in there. And I was up in there. You know, hey man. <laughs> and uh I, I don't see people differently because of their position. I don't treat you different because you got money or you got a position. And people sense real. So just be real with people. And that's again part of why I uh I um I share this word of the day because I want you to get the the word of God is my foundation and everything else I build on that foundation. That's what I'm really getting to today with you. You know, you can build it. <laughs> wow. That's going to lead us, you know, into something else. But um, I'm a good negative critics, but I put my heart and soul into my art, but do because my kids inspire me. Yes. Yes. That's exactly right, Jason. Yes. And that's a good inspiration. But, and, and at the same time, always remember who gave you the kids. You got to have a foundation for you as a man. And that has to, that, and it can't be something that's earthly <laughs> because you could lose anything on earth. 
You know what I mean? That's how I just think about things. But anyway, now I think I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do this last picture, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, word of the day. Okay. All right. So um, we'll get into that in a little bit. All right, so again, how would I approach this picture? I want my foundation first, okay? So my foundation is my my head shape. Here I'm gonna go with a little bit of a of a house type of a shape at the bottom. Still a bullet shape, but kind of housey, right? It's kind of three quarter viewish, right? And then I'll go up from here, right? I'll go up here. I noticed that this side's a little bit further down than the other side, so I'll go over here and do something like this, and then connect it, come down over here, out over here, and then I'll just come out, up, over, right, and connect my shape in, and then we got, you know, flowy hair, directional hair, so you're thinking about flames and fire, Right? See fire? Can you see the fire going on in there? It's a fire in this place. It is a fire. Okay? So we got a lot of directions going on in the hair. Okay? All right. Now, uh, what is our foundation? Now, you might look at this picture and say, you can't do that. The heck I... Watch this. Put the right nose shape in the mouth shape. Okay? That's my foundation. Now, let's draw his face. This is how you get from real to cartoon land, right? Just real quick, okay? We don't need nothing else. All we gotta do is do that. Actually, we can we can color this in, and then just put a little circle over here of light, okay? So this feels like a cartoon of him, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, really? You like the, the Harry and Marv? <laughs> uh, and then we'll just go ahead with our flames. Oh, man, are we, are we good to go. We're solid. Okay. And again, when we do the eyelashes, we can come back and, right? Okay. Now, what I could have done too, when I got to the eyebrows, when I did like this, I could have went with more of a, let me see. I could have went with, instead of a, well, actually, I think that round shape did work, but I could have went with something square too. If I want to do square eyes, I could have went like that, right? And still built it in there. You know, something like that. All right. Which is a little bit more square. These are these eyes here are a little bit more whimsical. But when you draw squares, they tend to be a little bit more like menace looking. So you could have did it like that too. Okay. Right. Yeah, like.
like that. You see? But the main thing is connecting the eye with this particular uh, with this particular type of drawing. It's uh, the main thing takeaway is that the eyes you see a little bit of space here. Now, if you're drawing a portrait, you'll be like, I gotta leave that space in there. I gotta leave this little space between the eye and the eyebrow. But the thing is, the, the in a cartoon, it's that connection between those two shapes. The eye and the and the eyeball looking like they're literally connected to one another. The eyeball and the eyebrows connected is really what the takeaway is. So when you want somebody to be angry, right? Any face we drew, let's go to and then we'll 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 close out this part. But let's go to angry. Think angry birds, right? Angry faces. I don't know what they're gonna put up here, but. Whose face going to pop up here? Okay. Look at this. If we're drawing her, look at, that, look at the interaction. Okay. You see that? You see that? You see the interaction? You see? She might have some eyelashes in there, but the interaction between the brow and the brow shape is what causes the look. If you try to draw this verbatim, you're going to mess up the drawing. You know what I'm saying? You see? Angry, any, any angry face. She's, I know about angry faces. That's how my daughter looks sometimes. She'd be fine. See, look. Again, angry face, watch. You just make the eyes bigger for a kid. The interaction between the eye and the eyebrow shape. Where the eye, where is she looking at? Over here somewhere, all right? Whatever. Okay, and then you can build from that shape. And there's so many things you can do with it. Just kind of color it in there, right? You can use it, you know, she's looking that way. I can do something like this, just like this, and then do something like this. Put the eye over there. Then I can just do like that, right? general direction of the eye then come off like this all right something like that all right so all of that counts when you draw on your when you draw your, your picture okay <laughs> okay so guys uh that is our drawing segment part of the stream we're gonna get out of here because it look like oh my goodness <laughs> oh okay all right uh, Okay, so let's turn this off here. All right, guys, so give me just a moment, and then I'm going to go ahead and get out my uh, materials for the word of the day. We're going to share a quick devotional with you, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here, okay? All right, guys, so give me a minute, and I will be right
All right, guys. So uh, welcome back to the live stream. We are in the closing parts of the stream. So we're going to now we're going to be uh, doing our word of encouragement. Pretty much, I'm going to share a little bit of scripture with you. Uh, just something that I applied to my life that I felt uh, really did a uh, a lot of good for me in my life. Uh, specifically, with I was showing you with drawing. Um, today, I showed you uh, a technique here, and let me just pull this up on the screen here. All right, and we and we talked about these uh, emotions. Okay, and then and in life, I can remember feeling probably just about all of these emotions. I was, I was, uh, you know, we go to this top row. You can see happiness, joy. Uh, somebody over here sweating the load. This guy here is pretty scared and fearful. I felt cool on some days, right? I was spooked on some days, and man, you know what? I was really in love on some days, right? And what happened was, whatever emotion that I was in for that day, uh, I can remember. I, I I built I built my day, uh, basing all of my decisions for that day on my emotion, on what I was feeling. Even though we try to apply some logic to it, what we, how we, what we are feeling inside, right? Cause that's what emotion is. Just like in a caricature, your caricature will feel a certain way. A lot of caricatures ask, or a lot of people that are interested in getting in caricature, they'll ask me, well, how do I draw a person that's real life into a cartoon? Well, one thing that sets apart a cartoon from real, because cartoons are, number one, they're generalizations, but they are full of emotion. They're full of what that character is feeling. They make you feel the character. Any actor will tell you they have to feel the character in their heart before they can begin to act like the character, right? So you must feel love in your heart before you can love somebody. If you don't feel love, inside if you don't know how to love if you're not equipped with the inner knowledge to be loving then or you don't feel love just straight up you don't feel love right you don't know how to receive love therefore you can't give love you don't know you don't have it inside of you to give so this love whatever you're feeling inside at the end of the day is the foundation for which you build your decisions okay so um, and I hear some people say, well, you know, they do this thing and say, well, men and women, men and women are more emotional, men are more emotional. I think that's just some stuff that people heard somebody say and they just parroted it because we're all if I, uh, quiet as kept. I feel like I'm a pretty emotional guy sometimes. And I, then I feel like my wife's pretty emotional sometimes, too. But the object is, is I try. We we because we're emotional beings, we need leadership in our life. And that's what the word of God is, because oftentimes we will look at the world let's say we look we feel like this inside well if you feel like this when you wake up in the morning you're going to look at the world like that and you're going to make decisions based off of that unless you know not to do that or unless something is stronger within you to cause you to feel one way but still not do what you feel inside i want to go out here and put one between somebody's stoplights Right? I want to get out of my car in traffic. This person just cut me off. I want to blip, 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 right? But then this other thing that's stronger than the emotion says, this is what you must do even though you don't want to do it. That's what the word of God is. This is the foundation. So we're talking today about foundations. Everything has a foundation. Every person, place, thing, human being, everybody has a foundation and once you know what that person's foundation is then it becomes easy to manipulate them okay if they don't know the truth you can manipulate them if somebody feels sad right you know then i can play on that sadness because they don't know they don't have the word of god to know how to act outside of their feelings so everything they do is going to be based off of sadness. So I can come to them with a, if they're feeling sad that day, I might be able to get them to take drugs. 
I might be able, when I was younger, I would meet, let's just say I'm young and I'm in the, I'm out in the club and I see a, a young lady that's sad. She doesn't feel, she feels, she feels sad. I might have taken advantage of that and said, you know, since, you, you know, and, you know, you're sad. Well, you know, I can be the one to cheer you up. Let me be the one. And I'm coming with my own devilish motives, but I'm playing on the fact that you don't know which way to go because you're sad inside and all of your decisions are being based off of that. So much like in caricature, where if once I start my drawing again, I start with where the person, let's just say with this one, if somebody is looking like, it feels like this to me, I want to start my drawing off based off of what they look like. Okay, from there, then I begin building the rest of the picture. Okay, if that's what they feel like. This is what makes you look like you. People can see, you can tell, the Bible says you can tell a, a tree by the fruit that it bears. Listen to that. You can tell a tree by the fruit that it bears. I can tell how you feel inside by the look you have on your face. When I go into the grocery store, this is a very different time we live in. A lot of, uh, people don't they don't want to smile. They look they look like everybody looking like this. I can tell that they're uptight. When you see somebody happy, you can tell it because it shows in their face. And it's an old song. It says, "If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it." If you're happy and you know it, clap your, right? Did you clap your hands with me? So the same thing goes, applies here. So what about this then? What about, what are we talking about today? We're talking about foundation and we're talking about allowing that foundation, right? To... build your life upon to build your decisions upon a foundation that supersedes your emotions and what you think about the world because what we think about in our thought life again we can tell a truth by the fruit that it bears we'll just look around your life and i can tell you what you think about all the time the other day my friend my cousin got in a, a, a fender bender with uh, uh, they, he had his kids in the car and they hit him in the back pretty hard. Uh, she didn't the, the the young lady that hit him didn't have any license and uh, didn't have any insurance. Right, no license, no insurance, and uh, but she had a coach bag and Jordans on. Right, she's driving a car with no driver's license. No insurance, right? House jacked up, but you got on, you got a coach bag and some Jordans on that cost $150. What do you think this person's foundation is? It's not really hard to, to, to figure that out. What's important to this person, right? They care more about how they're perceived by others than what doing what's right. So the Bible tells us, if you'll go to the book of Matthew, we're going to go to Matthew 7, and then we're going to go to verse uh, 24. Very powerful verse. I outlined this a long time ago, and I always read it. It says, anyone who listens to my teachings and follows it is wise, like a person who builds a house on a solid rock. So we're saying that no matter what you feel, indifferent, you feel 
you meet that new person and you feel like you're in love, right? You feel scared. You feel uh, very sad. You feel excited. You feel like crying. You feel any one of these emotions that you can feel up here. It says, anyone who listens to my teachings and follows it is wise. That means you go against the emotion. You feel the emotion. That's what makes life worth living. But you can't do everything you emotionally feel. Because that'll get you in big trouble. Take it from me. I'm the king of, or was the king of acting on my emotions. The problem with emotions, though, is again, they're wrong a lot of the times. Don't gamble with those because you're going to lose your money. You can lose your life. Young man in Brook in New York, he was, uh, had uh, some, he had his wife and kids in the house. His neighbor upstairs, uh, downstairs or whatever comes up to his house because his kids are running around making a lot of noise and bouncing off the walls in this apartment building so he couldn't sleep so the man downstairs comes upstairs to him and asks him can he have his kids kind of hang chill a little bit because he's trying to sleep he got to go to work the next day the man's emotions upstairs takes over he wants to go in the house he lost he was a big guy he thought he could beat everybody up because he was so big he came out, oh yeah, and this is that, and, blah, blah, blah. and the guy downstairs took out a gun and blowed his brains out. Okay? End of story. Motions can get you in big trouble. There's a lot of, my mama used to say there's a, all the bad, all the really true bad, uh, bad actors, the ones that, 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 she used another word, but the bad actors, they're all in the cemetery or in jail. Those are the ones that really don't care. So it says again, anyone who listens to my teachings and follows it is wise. Like a person who builds a house on a solid rock. That means that the decision that you make is going to always be on point 100% of the time. You don't have to do no guessing. It's not an if about it. It's the word of God is going to be the best thing or the best action to take in this situation. Even though I emotionally don't understand it. Even though I feel sad inside. Even though I feel confused about who I am and where I'm going. And that, that's just an emotion. We all uh, have questions. And we all feel certain types of ways. Again, this is why we need the foundation because the foundation is right. This foundation is right all the time. It says, though the rain comes in torrents and the floodgates, floodwaters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it's built on a bedrock. Right? That means that, again, when you build your life and you build your decisions on the word of God, right? That nothing of this world will be able to shake you and take your joy from you. You won't do something that you regret later on. That's simply what this means. No matter what happens to you in this lifetime, you understand there's a God that created the world and the universe and everything that's in existence and that you have a purpose. So whatever you do lose, it may hurt. You're going to go through the emotions because that's part of life. But you still can stand and fight. You still got a fighting chance. Then it says in verse 26, but anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. 
that just means that you say, you know what? There is no objective truth. There is no way that anything should be done. Nothing has a way to be done. It's whatever I feel like that day, that's how it's supposed to be done. If I feel like this that day, if I feel sad, I'm going to make everybody around me sad. I'm going to do sad things all day. I'm on it. And you can only produce what's inside of you. So you're going to go around and you're going to purposely spread sadness throughout your house, throughout your job. You're going to spread, spread sadness to your kids. If you feel angry that day, you're going to purposely go out there and spread anger in the world. You're going to spread anger at your job. You're going to spread anger all over the place. Again, but anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish like a person who builds a house on sand. That means anytime something happens, you get put, you all over the place emotionally. Maybe I need to hear this for myself today, right? But you're all over the place emotionally. As soon as somebody says something, or do anything, you're on the edge all the time because you don't have no foundation. You don't have no backbone. There's Somebody can push you anywhere they want to push you. If you ever take some sand and do like this to it and push it, it'll go whichever way you push it to. I can push your buttons like this. I can talk you into anything like this because you're an emotional person. All I got to do is touch your emotions a little bit and feed you a good story, and next thing you know, you'll go for it. It says, when the rains and floods come, and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. You don't have no staying power. You don't have no stand up and fight. Even what you think is stand up and fight is just you being this. Some people confuse strength and stand up and fight with anger. That just means that you angry. It don't mean nothing else other than you angry. When you like this, you can't think. It's easy. Ask anybody that does it. Look, you know, the funny thing. I had a, a conversation with an MMA guy. And he was one of the most humble guys I'd ever met in my life. I was like, and when he told me he was, but that's what he did. I was like, man, um, like what made you, you know, be, you know, what I asked him what made him get into, you know, this and what all of the risk and stuff. And, uh, you know, he shared that me, but, but, but the point of this, the point of this was the main topic here is, well, I asked him, I said, why? Like, what's the main, if you had to give one piece of advice to somebody that's in this particular sport, what would you say? And he says, when I go in the ring, I'm not trying to hurt the person. I don't have a motive to hurt this person. I'm not angry at them. You can never get angry. If you get angry in the ring, you're going to lose. He's like, what? Yep, even if you take a shot to the face, you can't get angry at the guy. Because when you get angry, you lose focus. You lose the ability to make sound decisions. You become the house that's on the sand. And I was like, man, that's pretty deep. Even though I don't particularly agree with, you know, somebody getting beat half to death in the ring anyway, it was just that the the discipline that it takes to be in, in, in any arena. If you're an artist, and you get intimidated easily or you feel like if people get around you and when you're drawn and you feel like you can't perform because you're over, you, you've given people too much power in your life. What the Bible says again, that fear of man is crippling. It's the worst thing you could ever do is fear what a person thinks about you. So do what's right. Even when somebody don't think that it's cool or that they're going to think about you in a different way. I talk to my to my daughter about it all the time. You know, she'll want to hang out with different groups of, you know, 
little girls or whatever, and I say, you know, everybody is not like you. I said, just don't try to make all these people like you. I said, because the more you try to make them like you, the more they ain't going to like you. You don't got to try to fit in with nobody. Do what's right. I said, and you'll be fine. But don't do anything just to get people to hang out with you, just to be, just to kick it. Don't do that. Because as soon as you get in big trouble, you'll see who your real friends are. They're going to leave you right there standing high and dry. If anybody's ever had that happen to them, they can say amen now. So that's our word of the day, guys. I'm not going to talk you to death. Foundation. When you draw a caricature, you want to know the easiest way to do it, the easiest way to learn, start from what I'm telling you. Something as simple as this. Draw what you feel that person feels like first. Keep some emojis by your board, your drawing board, and look at them. Feel them. Right now, what are, look at my eyes. What, what, are, what are my eyes? My eyes, and you see what I'm saying? My eyes say anger, right? Surprise. It's looking to the left. It's looking to the right. All right? That takes all the guesswork out. If I'm looking to the left, I'm looking to the right. Am I angry? Right? Am I happy? Am I sad? Am I super cheesy that day? That's what you want to figure out in your picture. And then once you do that, you take that and you individualize the stuff around it. And that is Foundations 101. So guys, that's our word of the day today. Thank you, God, for your word. I pray for everyone here today. I pray that they have a blessed day and that they be they make a decision today to build on your foundation. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I don't want to keep you guys long. I just wanted to give you a little word to encourage you for the rest of your day to build your foundation on the solid rock, the solid rock, the word of God. Okay. All right. So, guys, um, thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next live stream. For anybody that did tip, uh, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you, uh, your generosity. Um, and we will resume again on Wednesday. So, you guys have a blessed and awesome day. And the rouser will see you next time.